you glory. We magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do tonight. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, for your mightiness. We thank you, Lord, for your greatness in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Father, as many that you have ordained to be a particular tonight, O oh Lord, touch them. O oh Lord, touch their hearts. O oh Lord, touch their spirit being. Father, Lord, and as many that are still going to watch this program afterwards, O oh Lord, begin to do great and mighty things in their heart. As much as they listen, Father, Lord, as much as will be their blessings, as much will be their, their understanding. Father, to the glory of God, and we shall have testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I want to greet you once again uh, for joining us tonight. Uh, it's a wonderful night, and uh, we appreciate God for His faithfulness. We appreciate God for His mercy. We appreciate God for His um, uh, power that is revealing us to us every day. Um, about how mighty God is, how wonderful God is. I mean, we sleep every day and we wake up to the glory of God. And when you hear the news of people who passed away, you will be wondering, are you special? Yes, you are special. Are you great? Yes, you are great. Are you marvelous? Yes, you are marvelous. Are you specially made? Yes, you are specially made. Are you one that God has set aside for a greater things in your life? Yes, you are. The Bible says we are royal priesthood. We are peculiar people, a royal priesthood, to show forth God's praise, to go show forth God's mercy, and that's what we are. So we are special people, and we are not created by chance. It's the Lord's doing, and we are grateful uh, because it's marvelous in the sight of the Lord that we exist. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us the opportunity, and uh, we just want to appreciate him. Blessed be his holy name. Um, if you are joining us for the first time, I want to personally welcome you um, to this. Um, I want to personally welcome you to this series. Um, I want to tell you that this is a place to be. This is a time to worship. This is a time. This is a platform to uh, to be blessed. And um, you will never regret it because everything about God is dynamic. Everything about God is peculiar. And uh, that is why we are gathered tonight to en encounter God in, uh, in, uh, in our lives. And that we should, we should give these testimonies on this platform and we, 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 we describe the mightiness of God in our lives. Uh, so you are welcome. Um, for those that are still joining us for the first time, we meet on this platform every Wednesday, 7 to 8. Every Wednesday, if you're in the United States of America, 2 p.m. is the time. Please stay tuned or, or is in, in um, East America or some other part, maybe 1 o'clock. And uh, if you are in um, Nigeria, it's 8 o'clock or Africa, any part of Africa. God bless you really good is my prayer. And um, I welcome you. Tonight, um, before we go into the word, um, I wanna I wanna call on is Sister Wumi there. Hallelujah. Okay, can we just worship? Yes. The Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ma, can you worship the Lord for us for three minutes? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for another opportunity to bring unto us this evening. Uh, we are in His presence. We want to bless His holy name. Um, let's just bow down wherever we are and worship. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We've come to worship you. Lift your name. Honor. 
Hallelujah. We've gone to worship you with your name. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We've come to worship you. Lift your name. Honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've come to worship you. Lift your name. Honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've come to worship you. Lift your name. Lift your name. Honor. Lord, we crown you. Lord, we crown you. We've come to worship you. you, lift your name, honor, we lift up your name, lift your name, honor, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come to worship you, lift your name, honor. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, my God, how wonderful is your name, he knows the earth, how marvelous is your name, how beautiful, how wonderful, how gracious is your name in all the earth. How marvelous is your name. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we have worshipped. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, 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 oh,
there's a lot of time. I mean, when we treated this topic two weeks ago, uh, we talked about how you can be steady in the storm. The storm is something that comes. It may not be the storm on the, on the ocean. It's something that comes your way unexpectedly. It's something that, throw, that may throw you off the line, off the baseline. It's just like when you talk about people's mobility, and um, someone is not is unsteady, it is is unsteady, it wobbles, you no. Know? So how can you stabilize yourself in the storm? And this that this this is what this topic is about. There's so many storms in our lives. There are financial storms. Some people are running extra skater now because they are owing. They are they, they don't know when beliefs will call knock on their door. Financial storm. Some is barrenness some is relationship some is getting a job some is the intention of committing suicide some you no know, different storms in our lives different storms in our life some they have the children and the children are, are be, have become a reproach to their parents some you no know, different storms name it you being a Christian does not mean you will not experience any of this storm. So as the unbeliever, they experience the same storm. Because God has created it that He has created it that way from the days of Adam. But when storm comes, how do you manage it? How do you survive it? How do you become steady in a storm? Remember the story, I, I mean, we made uh, we, our text for last week, uh, two weeks ago, was the, the book of um, Isaiah. It was taken from the book of, um, sorry, Luke 8.23. Luke 8.23, I mean, there's a story of uh, Jesus. When Peter and the disciples were asleep, and there was a big storm, and they were panicking. And they ran to Jesus. And Jesus only spoke that word. Be still. And the storm stopped. I pray for somebody watching me tonight. That no matter storm, no matter what the storm you are going through in your life. It will be still tonight in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you that... The storm you are going through at the moment is just temporary. I've seen people going through a storm and on that process they commit suicide. I've seen people going through a storm and on that process they dwell into what they are not supposed to think about. They, 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 some commit suicide, some kill themselves, some stumble into a shortcut of, of the, uh, that shortcut their lives. Just like story of people that we hear that they are in poverty they have no money they have no food to eat they have that they were like oh is this going to continue forever it's a storm for them but instead of being steady and praying and being steadfast to see what the lord will do they will dumble into something else that will cut their destiny short are you going through any storm at all and you are thinking when will the Lord or when will this storm stop? I assure you tonight that the Lord is doing something about it. Just like Jesus. When they ran to Jesus and said, Jesus, Jesus, there is a storm. And Jesus pronounced that word, be still. I pray tonight that the storm of your life, every reproach in your life will be still in the name of Jesus. Every reproach in your life will be still in the name of Jesus. Beloved, I want to assure you that God is doing something about that situation. Because he has proven it in the book of Luke. If God has no power to stop a storm, that Jesus will not pronounce that word and the storm stops. It's a God that makes a way where there is no way. Just like he did for the Israelites. When the Lord instructed Moses, do this, 
and there will be a way for the Israelites. He's a powerful God. He's a merciful God. He's a, he's a glorious God. He knows your reproach. He understands what you are going through. He's watching. He's doing something about it. And at his own time, appointed time, at the right time, that you will not regret it. He will, he will produce a solution. He will provide you with a solution. Extensive one that will last you forever. Beloved, are you going through a sickness now and you're thinking it's the end of the world? Be steady. It's just a storm. A storm is not permanent. It comes. But if you are not steady, it can wave you along and you can lose it. A storm will come and will go. But if you are not steady, you can go with that storm. So the purpose of our teaching tonight is being steady in the storm. I've heard people, like I said two weeks ago, I've heard people say, is there God? If there is God, how am I suffering like this? How am I going through this? How do you how does he allow this person to, 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 to do this to me? But beloved, God is not a God that we should say things to such things to. Because he knows you from the time you were born. He knows you till the, till the day you will die. He knows. He knows what, what you will be. He knows what you, he knows what his plan is for you. So why should you say, does God exist? He exists. And some, sometimes, some of the storms in our life is to test our faith. You know? So anyone, if you look at storm, anyone can be consistent when there is no storm. You can be steady when there is no storm. But the moment there is storm, it's of only few. It's not everybody that can be, be steady. It's not everybody. So this is why the purpose of this teaching. Learn to be steady in the storm. That reproach, that uh, a situation you are going through. Oh, when will I get married? When will I get married? You don't know. Maybe God is preparing you for that marriage. A lot of things we ask in a, from God and we are not prepared for it. Maybe God knows that if he, if, if he provides you with that husband, you will lose it. Then maybe there are some things you still need to change within you. Oh, and when will I get married? I've seen men, I've seen women saying that. Uh, but God is preparing them. I know a gentleman that he, 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 he was thinking he was getting hold, that he needs to get married. He just thought, oh, I, I don't need to 20 years ago, but now I need to. But still God is still looking at him and knows that there's still some things he knows. He's not caring. I know myself that this person is not caring. But I will just laugh when he says that. He still needs to change something. Maybe that is what God is waiting for him for. How will I present you? How will I bless you with a wife when you cannot, you, are, you, are, you, don't, you don't have what it takes to do to look after a woman? You have money, yes. But it's not just about money. So there are so many things in our lives that we are praying for God for. We see it as a stump. However, we are not ready. We're not ready. Maybe the Lord has tested us in little, little things and we lose it. And after losing it, we will say, oh, our God is merciful. Yeah, he is merciful. However, we have a role to play. So I will give you like five steps of how to be steady in a storm. How to be steady in a storm. First, the number one is for you to know that the storm is temporary. 
is not forever. A storm that comes into your life is temporary. There is no storm that is that can go forever. It is the person in that storm that if the person is not steady, that will cut short his own life or go with that storm out of fear or anything. So the storm is never forever. Because God has a time for everything. This is a perilous time. And a lot of things are happening around us. We see that as a storm. But God says, God, when I when this topic came about, the Lord ministered to me that there's thousands of people who are unsteady when there's a storm. And they, they eventually go with that storm. And then, okay, look at COVID-19. <laughs> Has it not gone now? People still have it, but you can never, it's not a, it's nothing to talk about anymore. We are talking about something else now. We are talking about what's that new thing that is uh, trending now? A banana pox or something. You know, strange names. Strange names, name name, you know, so it's no more COVID. So, but there are some people that went, they, they die into in that storm, the COVID storm. Out of oh, I'm dying. What's going to happen? Oh, what's going to happen to me? I don't want to do this. Even for the fact that there was no, there was no way to 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 to, to go on holiday. Some people die in that process frustration, be unable to sustain that situation. Hallelujah. So I am speaking to you now to be able to stabilize yourself when everything seems crazy, when everything seems naughty. You know? So I want you to stabilize yourself. I want you to have hope because the Bible says Christ in us is the hope of glory. Just believe that there is God watching over you. Watching over you. Watching over you day by day, night by night, minute by minute, hour by hour. He's watching over you. He sees you. He sees your heart. He knows what you are going through. Those things are temporary. So if you are there, say temporary. Those things are temporary. They are not permanent. So know that one of the ways to overcome or be steady in a storm is to understand that it's temporary. It can never be forever. So you have to be steady. You have to be consistent. You have to be focused. Hallelujah. So the second way to overcome a storm or be steady in a storm is to be fearless. Look at, if Jesus was not in that, let's read that verse so that it doesn't look at me, because I've taught this last two, last two weeks, and that's why I don't want to go into that verse again, but let's read the scripture um, briefly. Let's look at Luke 8. We're going to read that Luke 8 from uh, verses 23 to 26. Luke 8, verse 23 to 26. The Lord, the word of God is so powerful. Hallelujah. So Luke 8 23. But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and there came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water. You see, the boat is already filled with water. And we're in jeopardy. <laughs> what causes jeopardy? The storm. Just like many of us, I mean, including myself, when there is a storm, we, we, we shiver, we, 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 we get worried. We start thinking about, oh, are we going to fear? Fear. 
So the second thing that makes you unsteady, unstable in a storm is fear. You see, they were fear, they were scared. They said they were in jeopardy, and they came to him. Thank God, these ones they know who the Savior is. They recognize the Savior. They ran to him. So just like they ran to him, Jesus, I want you to begin to think within yourself, which is the third point I'm going to make. That when there is a storm, one of the ways you can be steady is to run to God. That's the third point. Run to God. You can see what the disciple did. They, 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 they came to him. That means they recognized the sovereignty, the sovereignty of God. They recognized that there is a power that is above the storm. So anytime you have a reproach in your life, or you lack something, that thing becomes a reproach. It becomes, it became, it becomes a storm in your life. Think about God. Think about your Creator. Think about because He, he has His promises for you. He said he will never leave nor forsake you. So why are you fearful? Why do you think the Lord will not do it? Or why do you think you will not overcome that storm? So why are you, why are you fearful? So run to Jesus. Just like the disciple did in Luke 8, verse 23, verse 25. And they came in and woke him. They had to wake Jesus up. Because he was already asleep. They would have done something better if they truly understand the, that they are joint heads with Christ Jesus. And I will open your eyes to that thing that they would have done differently. They would have taken the same faith. So this is the fourth point now. For you to be, to, to be steady in a storm. I made mention of one thing, recognizing that the storm is just temporary. Secondly, you have to be fearless. Do not take the storm as your as a, a, a something that you cannot overcome. So you have to be fearless. Thirdly, you have to have a strong faith in the Lord, believing that you recognize the Savior. Just like Peter did and the disciples, they ran to Jesus. And the third thing is to understand that he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. The same power Jesus has, you have. They would have summoned a faith and prayed to the storm and the storm would stand still if they recognize that power that they have. Instead of going to Jesus. Because they are carrying the same anointing. But because lack of faith. Just like Jesus told Peter. Come. And he, was, he, was, he wasn't sure. And he began to sink in that sea. He began to sink. Because his faith was not as, as strong. The same thing happened in this situation. So, the fourth point of how you can be steady in a storm is to have faith in God. That in due season, in due season, this will come over me. This cup will run over you and you will be strong again. That this storm will be over and you will be strong again. That this storm is temporary and you will be strong again. That you will be fearless and you will be strong again. That you will be you will be strong and they will become a testimony. That storm you see yesterday will become a testimony today in your life in the name of Jesus. Are you under the uh, situation where you think, oh, when will you get out of this? I assure you that very soon, the Lord is doing something about your situation. The Lord is doing it. He's doing something about your situation. That situation is not permanent. That condition is not permanent. That sickness is not permanent. That fibroid, 
in your womb that is stopping you from having children is not permanent. That sickness, diabetes, name it, multiple sclerosis, or whatever you are going through now, is not permanent. It's not permanent. Just know that it's temporary. And be fearless. Be strong in yourself. Have faith in the Lord. Have faith in the Lord. Recognize the sovereign, sovereign power of Jesus. Just like the disciple did. Call on him. Continue to call on him. Trust in him. Prophesy. Now thank you. And which is the fifth point I want to talk to you about. Give thanks to God in that situation. Give thanks. To, just like the Bible says in Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. All you land. Make a joyful noise. You see, at that time when you are in the storm, continue to give thanks to God. Continue to. That was why I sang that song. You are the most high. Behold, the tell you are the most high God. Why? Why is your thanksgiving conditional? So it is when you feel God has blessed you. That's when you give thanks. No. He has done more than what you are giving thanks for. Giving you life, you need to thank God for it. So in every situation, God will remain God in your life. Either there is a storm or there is no storm. Haven't you seen someone who has no leg who is praising God? What you have today, some people do not have it. And they still thank God for what they have. So the fifth point to be steady in a storm is to give thanksgiving. Just thank God. Begin to thank God every morning when you wake up. Thank God. Give thanks to Him. Give praises to Him. Say, Daddy, thank you. Thank you for, for, for my life. Thank you. Bless you, Lord, for my life. I give you all glory for my life. Thank you for what you have done for me. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for the breathing. Stop Morning about <clears throat> stop mourning about those reproach that you think is a storm and see what the Lord will do. Just thank Him, give thanks to Him, give thanks to Him. Thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Just continue to give thanks in different languages, God. It's not a respecter of any language. He understands every language. If you can thank him and speak in tongue, who cares? God doesn't care. He will accept your thanks because that's his food. Thank God. Just thank God. And you will see, you see the fifth point I've just made, opens door. Opens the door. Turn around things for you. It turns around things for you. It turns around things for you. Hallelujah. We're going to round up now. And awake him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. It's out of fear. Fear. They say, Master, we are perished. They assume that they, are, they have already perished. They didn't even say, oh, yeah, well, it's still flowing. We can still, we are perish. That word perish, go and check the meaning of perish. When I was reading this and I was analyzing it, I was like, wow, these people are men without faith. They are just a disciple. They are, they don't, their faith is not strong. Just like a little baby. We perish. Then Jesus arose. Listen to this. This is Quite interesting. It shows the power of God, you know, and how much He can stand for us in the time of storm. If you listen to this, just begin to pray within your heart that God Almighty, this is my pro this is this is my testimony. This is my testimony. All those things, that sickness, that reproach, 
that are you being looked down on? And they say it will never be okay for you. Ah, begin to pray to God now as I begin to read this passion of the Bible. That the Lord will arose. The Lord will rise for you. The Lord will rise for you. Are you owing a lot of money and you think, when will I get out of this? When will I get out of this? The Lord is about to rise for you tonight. The Lord is about to touch those areas. He's about to touch your finances. He's about to touch your job. He's about to touch you. Are you sick? Are you limping? Or you can't you can mobilize? You find it difficult to even eat. You find it difficult to lift your hands up. Are you in the hospital? As I'm talking to you, I declare into your life that the Lord will rise on your matter tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord that arose when the disciples were shivering, they said, Master, we perish. They thought it's the end of life for them. And Jesus rose. Hear what he has to say. He said, he rebooked the wind. You see, first thing he did was to rebook that wind. How dare you wind? How dare you storm? How dare you fi financial breakdown? How dare you sickness? How dare you barrenness? How dare you joblessness? How dare you poverty? Whatever you're going through, how dare you? Jesus rebook it. He rebooked it and ranging of the well water and the ceased. And there was a calm. This is what the Bible says. Now let's look at there's something I want us to look at. The amplified, the amplified version. That's King James Version. Now, I like the amplified version. It says there is a way he described that. Uh, uh, that portion of the Bible, verse 20, 20, 28, is the way he described it. Because I like looking at different versions because there is a way they interpret them. Seeing Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him and shouted loudly, What business do we have with each other? No, no, no. I think I'm reading verse 8, uh, chapter 8, verse. 26, sorry. I was reading 28. Verse 26 is what I want to read. Now, listen to this. Then they sailed to the country of the Just bear with me. Okay, we are there now. So, for the first 20, 25, uh, and he said to them, Where is your faith? This is what I want to bring out. They were afraid and astonished. You see how at the Amplified Version described this. Saying to one another, Who then is this? He said, Command even the winds and the sea, and they obey him. They were, they were, they were, they were, uh, 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 they, they were so um, surprised about what Jesus did. Then. You know, he got up and rebuked the wind and raging violent waves, and they ceased and it became calm. That's what Jesus did. He only spoke the word. And tonight, I pray that every reproach. You are going through the Lord, they will stand still. The, as, as the Lord is doing something about it, as you pray, the Lord is accepting your prayer that those tongues will become calm in the name of Jesus. They will stand still in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, those reproach that you are that you are you are, you are crying, carrying, those mountains that you you are you are mount. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are holding and they become so heavy in your heart. They will, come, they will stand still in the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Spirit will make you rise again. Just as Jesus rise and he said to that storm to stand still. Those reproach will stand still in your life tonight in the name of Jesus. And I pray that 
as you are building your faith in God, that God Almighty will make you steady during this storm in the name of Jesus. I don't know what storm you are going through, but the Lord says we should teach this word so that we can encourage you to, be, to stand still during the storm. And I pray for you tonight that you will have testimony. That storm, that reproach in your life that seems to be difficult, that seems to make you heavy, that the Lord will turn things around for you in the name of Jesus. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We we'll bless your name. We magnify you. We thank you, Lord, O oh Lord, for this word that has come forth. That God in the storm we will become steady. We will continue to trust in you. We will continue to trust in you. We will continue to bless your name. We will continue Amen. to pray that you, O oh Lord, will see us through in the name of Jesus. That, O oh Lord, you will see us through in the name of Jesus. That, O oh Lord, ah, we will understand that this storm is temporary and we yes. will overcome in the name Amen. of Jesus. And that we will Amen. continue to shout hallelujah because at the Amen. shout of hallelujah, the walls of Jericho fell down flat. Amen. So our storm become flat Amen. in the name of Jesus. And of God will continue Amen. to shine upon our lives in the name of Jesus. And Amen. we shall have testimony in the Amen. name of Jesus. And so shall it be. Blessed be Amen. your holy name. In Hallelujah. Jesus mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. 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 I want to bless. I want to thank God thank for your life. I want to thank God for your life for being part of this. If you're watching me now or later, I want to thank God for your life because I know God is about to do something wonderful in your life. I know yes, that God yes, yes. as we will become a testimony in the name of Jesus. If you want to share your testimony, don't forget our mm -hmm. email is solid rock at hotmail.co.uk and you can also get us on whatsapp on 07455-71480 or you can go to the PR page solid, solid rock evangelical outreach and drop a message and just share your testimony to encourage others the purpose of the testimony is to encourage others so that people that see the testimony they will be lifted and they will be hope and trust the Lord that very soon they will receive just like you have so if you have been oh, blessed, just drop your, those messages, believing that Amen. God Almighty will bless others. Because that's the purpose of testimony. So and I, I am happy that you are on this platform. I'm happy that you have listened to the word of God. Yes, so it's steady. Great and mighty things in your life. It's and steady. I pray so in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for, you, for what you have done tonight. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. we have prayed. Amen. 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 We meet every Saturday, every Wednesday on this platform, and I want to encourage you to be a partaker. And don't take it for granted. Amen. Great and mighty thing. Yes. I listened to some testimonies. I was and I'm, I'm so it's so amazing that God, mm. God, you are still God and you are still doing. Nobody can stop mm. God from being wonders. No, no, no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God Thank you, Jesus. Has, Marvelous God is a wonderful God. He is a marvelous and God. Thank God for what is about to mm. do, what he's doing, and what he continues to do. I mean, when mm. I see his handwork, I will say it's only God that can do this. Trust in the Lord, like mm. the, the teaching says. You know, recognize that every storm is temporary; it's not permanent. Don't mm. go with that storm. Don't go with that storm. Just like some people have oh. gone with COVID, don't go with that storm. Remember, mm. it's temporary. Then secondly, 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 be fearless. Don't be fearful. Don't, don't believe that. Don't be, fear can take so many things. Fearless. People that are doing the wrong things today or are stealing is because they are fear. They are fear. They are fearful of. They, they, I mean, they are, they, they, they are fearful of the future. Mm. future. Oh, what will the future be? Let's take it down. Let's do it. Mm. I'm knowing that God has another plan for them. Fear, fear. Mm. Don't be fearful, or else you will go with mm. the storm. You go this. Mm. When you go and steal and they are caught and they, 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 they sentence you to prison or they kill you and mm. the hanging or anything, that means you have cut short your glory. You have cut short the plan of God for your life. Fear. Mm -hmm. fear. fear has mm. made so many people commit suicide. You know? Mm. You know in this COVID, they say, oh, commit suicide. So whatever your reproach, know that from tonight, as you are listening mm -hmm. to that word, God is doing mm -hmm. something. 
at his own Amen. time. We are, I know we are Amen. in a perilous time. We are mm-hmm. in a perilous time, but God is still God. God Amen. Is still God. No matter, he does not change. He's a dynamic God. He's relevant yesterday. He's relevant today. He's relevant forever. And the Amen. same way, Jesus rose. Lord, Lord, man. When the di- disciples were, fe- were fearful, hmm? they were fearful because when they saw the storm, they went, I mean, they, they went to Jesus. The same way Jesus rose and, and calmed that storm, the same way it will calm your storm tonight in the name. Amen. 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 So note that those steps and above all, give thanks to God. Whatever Amen. Situation you are, continue to thank the Lord. Continue to thank mm. the Lord. Say, Daddy, mm. thank you. Daddy, thank, thank you. Daddy, thank you. Thank you. Daddy, thank, thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What you will do. Thank you, Jehovah. I, I want to congratulate you tonight. I want to congratulate you because God is he has started doing something in your life, and I'm looking forward to listening to your testimonies. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Is my prayer. God bless you. Thank you, I'll Jesus. Sing, sing this song. Before we share the grace. Thank you, thank. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For everything you have done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For everything. You have done. And the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The love of the God. The love of God. And the sweet fellowship. And sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now. Be with us now. Forever. Um, forevermore. Amen. 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 Surely. Hallelujah. The Lord's goodness. The Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days. All the days of our lives. And we shall. And we shall dwell. dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you really good. Is my God, God bless you. God bless you. Oh, God bless you. Wednesday. Don't, don't forget, Wednesday is our prevailing prayers. And we're going to meet again on Wednesday. God bless you really good. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.